The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym is the pump. You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. Pump them one way. Let's go. I want to beat them. You want to talk? We'll talk. I'm a sucker for good conversation. What's going on, Big Tony? It's been a long week, V. Has it? Long week. Why? What'd you get into? Long week, man. Just working out. Working out working. All, eight eight hours a day. I get paid to work out. What? Yes, I'm one of the lucky few. I get to p- get paid to work out. Unbelievable. How about you? How many no. Day, how many days did you work out this week? Mm. Well, there's seven days in a week. You're on baby duty for eight of those. Is it a leap year? It is a leap year. Then none there's this an extra, week. There's an extra day in April. Okay, three times this week. Then. Sweet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to episode two of In Bro We Trust. In Bro We Trust, not in Girl We Trust, in Bro. Yeah. Only bros here. Bros only. This is a bro cast. Exactly. Yep. Basically saying dudes only. Dudes only. No chicks allowed. Ew, Ooh. All right, guys, this week we're going to talk about a few different things. We're going to talk about some fad diets, um, things that you see on social media, you kind of see on um, Dr. Oz, I guess such you'd say, Oprah, the doctor shows, things that uh, doctors and scientists have kind of proven against at most points, but you're going to get these social media influencers, you're going to get actors, actresses uh, kind of promoting it, saying that they got lean and they look beautiful and they kind of change their life around to, uh, I'm pretty much going to slash them down. Uh, speaking from a trainer standpoint, these diets are not meant to be excelled past in a few weeks, a few months maybe at most. But other than that, you shouldn't be going on years on these diets. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then V-Daddy is going to take the ring and talk a little bit about uh, strong men. Strong men. Strong yes, men. Yes, he, He's not saying he's a strong man. No, no, no. The, he's talking no. about strong men. Well, yes. That he has what dreams about. That is true. I'm the complete opposite of a strong man. Yes, you are a weak woman. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm a Boy Scout. You're a Girl Scout. Nailed it. Yes. Love those cookies. So I'm going to first start off. Uh, we're going to talk about some fad diets here. Um, I think um, the two most that I've heard about uh, that's questioned the most that people, some of my clients even mm-hmm. come up to me and talking about um, are keto and paleo. Yep. I'm sure you've heard of. Yeah, paleo is known as the caveman diet, if that's uh, uh, So pretty much look, start, starting off with paleo, uh, how V-Daddy said, it's a caveman diet. So pretty much in layman's terms, that's eating what they ate in prehistoric, prehistoric in days. Paleolithic era, to be exact. Pretty much very just raw meat. Not literally raw meat, you dumbasses, but Why raw, not? like, you, you want to go ahead. Go ahead. Raw beef, <laughs> you, man. you want raw beef? Hey. Eat it right from the cow? Go yeah, ahead, man. Get some want, steer in you. You, you. That you want gut. the longhorn? <laughs> Can't handle it. But uh, pretty much, uh, like, meat, fish, uh, fruit, nuts, stuff like a hunter, hunting and gathering. Uh, nothing processed, um, you know, nothing of the refined sugar. It's very straightforward. Um, but uh, to kind of uh, talk about paleo a little bit, it is to mimic the diet of old, better suited for our body's metabolism. So pretty much what their their main consensus, their main argument is that throughout, you know, 17, 18, 1900s, whatever, is that our bodies were not used to to the refined sugars and to the starches that we've introduced into our diets. And that is why the obesity rates are crazy high. Uh, that's why, you know, cholesterol, heart attack, heart disease is, I don't think it's ever been more because everyone is fucking lazy. Well, yeah. And uh, they'd rather go spend $5 at McDonald's and get 20 hamburgers rather than go to the store and spend $10 on a thing well, of celery. Well, why would you pass up that deal? I'm you, not going to pass up the be deal. An idiot. This Why do you think I work out so damn much? You're right. Is to get my. Ch- uh-huh. I, I haven't been to McDonald's. I literally just got back from Chick Fil A, and well, I got uh, well, now. That's what Chick Fil A is not fast food. Okay, no, I'm just no. going to argue that it's that's the, God's food. It's the fastest food. That is the fastest, greatest food. It's just God's saying. food. They're closed on Sundays for a reason. You know, Paleo. Uh, pretty much, they want to keep it, you know, as clean as possible. Um, now, Correct me if I'm wrong. That means no dairy, no grains, no like. Uh, beans, potatoes, Correct. stuff Me- like that. Meat, fish, fruit, nuts. Yes. Things that are very easily obtainable. Um, but they're, you know, and they go on the notion that, you know, it reduces, uh, you know, total fat content, you know, per pound and, you know, healthier, uh, you know, better blood circulation, um, 
you know, uh, reduced, you know, obesity uh, percentages. And I just, I mean, I could see it working, but if you do it for an extended amount of time, what would be well, the, see, the, the negative effects see, of this type of diet? I'm going to go a little bit more on the keto side when we start talking okay. about that, because that one has a little bit more, you know, I guess you'd say downside to it. Pretty much any diet that you look at, it is trying to reduce the amount of carbohydrates that you take in. Sure. A lot of the diets are going to be off the, those fees, fad diets that, you know, you want to get that six pack shredded bra look. Well, yeah, that's what it is. But what people don't understand is when they want to, they're in the gym and they're looking for, you know, muscular strength and they're trying to, you know, build bigger mass. These diets are not going to work for you. No. These are meant to, you know, cut the pounds and, you know, you're going to get that, you know, cut, you know, get that definition look on you a little bit more. But you're not going to be able to, you know, when we talk later about strongmen, yeah. there's a reason why strongmen don't do paleo or, or uh, uh, keto. Right. There's a reason they for it. They eat everything. But paleo, uh, in my mind, when you're comparing just a, you know, a simple balanced diet of carbs, fats, and proteins compared to something like a paleo, uh, it's hard It's hard to maintain. It's hard to sustain over a, for a period of time. Absolutely. Because not one, not one but paleo is a little, it, it is more expensive. To well, do yeah. something like that. I mean, if you're it's looking, it's very for, clean. Oh, it's, it is ex- extremely clean. Go to the store and try to get some strawberries. How much strawberry is going to cost you? Uh, Four or five dollars at are we, least. Are we going to Aldi? Uh, no, I'm talking about Teeter. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the deals from oh, Teeter. I don't, I don't pay that much. You don't pay that much. I, okay, so if you went, I'm to, cheap. You ain't cheap. You don't. You don't. You don't got that McKay's money. I don't have the McKay's. Oh, money. Oh God damn it! Anyone is wondering what that is? It's a local store. It is a local store that they will rob you. Overpriced. Overpriced, dude. I went in there. It was about two weeks ago, and I got some uh, like spicy tartar sauce. I was getting it for my oh. salmon. It was fucking almost a year old on the expiration date. I didn't even look at yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like these fucking bastards. And Old ass man McKay got me. He stifled me. Oh, he got yeah. You. He got me on he that spicy tartar. <laughs> I should have went to goddamn McDonald's and got the fish fillet for two dollars. Just saying, passing up these deals. But paleo, the but paleo is more expensive because I mean you are going to be. I mean beef, chicken, fish, any type of fish is going to be expensive. For whatever you get. I mean yeah, I think for sal- the most part. I think salmon is going to. I mean you get a deal if you're going to get eight dollars a pound. Yeah. Which, I mean, compared to chicken, $8 a pound, it's a lot, you know, you can get a shit ton more for your money. But then again, some people just are lazy. They don't want to, they don't want to go out, find the deals and cook for themselves. Right. They rather get everything, you know, I'm sorry, but you know, beef is very, I mean, fucking ground beef is, you know, shitty is, is easy. It's probably one of the easiest meats to cook. Yeah. You literally put it in the pan, stand, you know, stand by there for 10 minutes and it's well, cooked. Well, you can just breathe on it and they're like, no, nah, it's good. Yeah. So, I mean, shit, I like medium rare on my steak. Uh, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, who doesn't like it mooing as you're putting it into if, your mouth? If you're a meat eater and... If you get a well-done steak, don't sit at the dinner table well, with that's me. What that's I'm, what I'm saying. You, don't sit there and eat your flat and your spare tire there while I'm eat eating Eat your it. flank steak. Yeah, God damn it. Kill, it kills all the nutrients. Oh, uh, Jesus. The I mean... Blood, the blood. Well, you you know uh, uh, DJD. DJD, he eats his, like, well done. Who? DJD. DJD, you know DJD. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, you're uh-huh. right. You're right. He eats his well done, and he pours a one sauce all over top. Oh, of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, if that's not shit, I don't know what is. Well, so you're just getting the flavor of the sauce, pretty much. That, that's with it. burnt with burnt meat. I, he should just drink the sauce. I mean, but he, but what doesn't kill? He gets he gets the so he, he gets, wants the burnt ends with he gets sauce the burnt steak, it. but then he gets three orders of French fries. Yeah, and his cholesterol is like fucking perfect. Yeah. How the shit does that work? I don't, apparently, I have bad cholesterol. Apparently, my well, bad cholesterol level is high. Is it? Apparently. What? What's, well, your, what's your LDL at? Um, what did they say? I don't know. Some woman told me, so she obviously doesn't know what she's talking about. So I'm gonna find a male doctor now. Okay. To, Are you, so what you're saying is all all women should stay in the household. Listen, is what you're saying. Go ahead, explain it to me, please. All I'm saying is women privilege. Go. <laughs> All I'm saying is she said my LDL was high, my good cholesterol was uh-huh. low, yeah. my liver enzymes were high, and something else. Uh-huh. But then she told me all these negative things, and the more I'm thinking about it, what what she told me is what probably the normal person has mm. if they get blood work done. Yeah. They're like, oh, you eat a little bit of fried food? Your cholesterol is probably going to be kind of... Uh, yeah. Your liver enzymes? Oh, it's probably because of the fried food, too. Everything's yeah. fried food. Of course. Vitamin D? Well, it's fucking winter time. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Oh, it's a little low. I wonder why. Yeah, I've not been stuck in a cave for the last two you know, months, stuffing my face. Fried Oreos. Yes. What you get is cookies and cream ice cream, yeah. and then you put fried Oreos on top. Yeah. 
Oh, shit, man. Yeah, I, I ate that before I got my blood work done. She said something about fasting, but I, I was like, she's probably wrong. She, regardless, it doesn't matter what she says. She could say, you know, V Daddy, and be like, yeah. you're wrong. Like yeah. she's automatically wrong. Yeah. But so yeah, I mean, paleo in my mind, it's you know, for two three weeks, it's good. You know, you might you might lose six seven pounds. It's mostly going to be water weight, because I mean, you're reducing the carbohydrates so much. That's that way you're forcing your body to use some sort of other nutrient for energy. And it has to, and it has to get something, and it's not going to use the protein; it's going to use the fat. Right. So that's why it's going to be quick results. That's why you're going to see who's that ex porn star. Mm. I can't remember her name, but no, she uh, huge into paleo. Uh, but uh, fuck, what was her name? Oh, uh, um, do, you know, do you know who I'm talking about? Jameson. There you go, Jenna Jameson. Mm-hmm. Is that her name? She, I mean, she was a fucking whale and a half. I think she, I mean, she was Shamu's, you know, stepsister. But she, she wasn't was, that big. Dude, she was big. I mean, she, she compared was compared to what she was. She yeah. was at, she was probably close to three bills. No. Yeah. No. Three bills soaking dry. Are you sure? Yeah. Were, but now she's, I mean, f- she's a fucking stick now. Yeah, but the, like we were saying earlier, how can How long you keep can she sustain up? it? Yeah, no, you can't. Right, exactly. No, because you can't. Your because body's so used to it. I'm First off, you have to remember that your brain uses nutrients for energy, correct? It's going to first use carbohydrates. That's what feeds your brain the best. That's why you, how you stay alert. That's how you stay less anxious. That's less headaches, more focused, more driven. And now that, now you have to teach your body to use something else for that energy for your brain. And that's when you start turning to those fats. It's not as accessible. And it's not as, uh, you know, it's not as quick action. And it's, it's just not as positive. So that's that's kind of my big stifle with it. So when people come to me with clients or pr- potential clients, be like, um, so should I try this like paleo? Be, I, first I tell them, stop looking online at fad diets and you just need to come talk to me first or go see a nutritionist. Nope. No, no. Like I saw like this girl and the like Instagram on model it, said I saw this paleo. Instagram and she was like, I did this like morning chai tea with my paleo. A cleanse? And that's pretty much all they can drink is like water well, yeah. and like very like I don't even think they're allowed to drink tea. I think that's like a cheat for them. Too much. Too much. Too much in it. So, but paleo, but yeah, paleo. You're not going to get the fiber. You're not going to get the vitamins like you are going to get in. You know your your, your carbohydrates. So, would more supplementing come into play with the that, paleo yeah, diet? Or I mean, that's, that's it has to. It. The supplementation has to because I don't think that's I don't think they regulate that on like these fad diets like your supplements that you take. Yeah. I mean, granted, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's. Yeah, I, I guess you wouldn't. I mean, I think in some pre workouts there's like some green tea and garana, garana, coffee bean, extract. coffee bean. So I, I don't know. You'd have to watch out mm. for that. But other than that, I mean, paleo in my mind, like I said, man, it's quick. You're gonna get the results, but it you can't keep that up for long. Yeah. So overall. I mean, a you, few weeks of doing it, yeah. and that's really about it, right? Yeah, I mean, it. it's just people want to see so quick reactions. All right, let me put it in simpler terms like this. Let's say you're 35, uh-huh. and you weigh 215, 220 pounds. Okay. Well, you're like, well, you come to me, and you're like, well, at 30, I weighed 170. Mm. You know, how can I get back down to say, I want it quick, man. I want, it, I want to get shredded in 30 pounds in the next four months, whatever. So I, you know, I turn to them and be like, did you gain that 30 pounds in three months? No, you lo- you gain that over about five years. You think it's going to come off that quick? Anything that tells you that you're going to be able to lose that weight that quick is, guess what, is not good for you. Steer clear away from it. Fucking put a stop sign up and turn around and do it the right well, way. Well, people want the quick fix. That's like when everyone, anyone it's comes f- up to me and they're like, hey, fucking greedy. I, I want to start working out. Mm-hmm. What? How long will it take for me to bench this or squat this yeah. or deadlift this or get abs or get down this weight? I'm like, well, have you ever worked out? They're like, well, I used to. It's like, well, how many years has you been off of the gym yeah and what's the effort you're going to put into mm-hmm. like there's too many factors to say i got it. some resistance bands yeah. at home i can't say in 30 days you'll be shredded like a like you like a step mm, yeah yeah mm. michael hearn baby jr all right so paleo good for a few weeks and then ixnay correct okay well you want to talk about keto yeah go ahead let me let me hear well, your, let me hear your thoughts on okay. keto i got a few bulletin points okay let's hear it man uh so keto is also a fad diet. It uses fat as energy. Mm-hmm. Um, and what that means, keto, ketosis. It's pretty. It's like Atkins. Let's put it that. It was like the, you know, the right. real big diet a few years ago, kind of like the South Beach diet. Right. Atkins was, if you had to compare it to something, it's like the Atkins yeah. diet. Yeah, so strip car, strict, not strip carbs. We talking about the strip carbs? Mm-hmm. You want to go with strip carbs? 
Sorry, I guess my mind's elsewhere. Strip cars. All right, yeah, 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 it yeah, is yeah, Friday yeah, night. Yeah. You know the time is right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, just a couple of bros in yeah. the closet. Mm, 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 uh, mm, what? Mm, tassels. Uh, yeah. Anyway, strict carbs. Mm-hmm. 20 a day, roughly. I mean, Honestly, I've even seen people go to like 10 a day. Well, that's dumb. I mean, you this can't sur- is fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so the first two weeks of any diet, especially this one, is hard because your body has to go into ketosis. Mm-hmm. The first two weeks will make or break you. Correct. Uh, a lot of people will do, uh, you know, um, unsalted uh, butter mm-hmm. mixed with coffee. Yeah. Uh, bullet coffee is a popular one with unsalted butter and then coconut oil or MCT oil. Okay. They'll do that in the beginning for their breakfast to get their energy. Mm-hmm. Some people will jumpstart using that with their diet. Mm-hmm. Um, the only issue is that's all you're supposed to have in the morning. Delicious. I'm full. I'm full thinking about it. So you have salted, no, unsalted, buttery coffee yeah. with a hint of coconut. What's wrong with that? That's mm, perfect, man. Nothing. Shit. So the Just prop- to put an IV in me with right. lighter shit right quick. But the average body's not going to... Your body's not made to know, hey, I'm switching to just burning fat right off the bat. Correct. Your body wants to use carbs first. That's just how it's naturally going. Mm -hmm. Yep. Carbs, fat, protein. Correct. Holy Trinity right there. Oh, that's all you need. That's it, baby. So, (laughs) to me... Diamond Dallas Page! (laughs) But if you can do it... But the problem is regulating your fat intake. Good fats. Correct. Uh, Avocados, nuts, uh, roots, seeds, Mm -hmm. stuff like that. Salmon, yeah. Salmon. Any omega-3. Krill oil to me, uh, oh, krill oil, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, the, yeah. fancy. Yeah. It's really just omega three fatty acids. Mm-hmm. That's all that fish yeah, oil. Yeah, I mean, th- like some of their no nos: fruit, grains, can't drink alcohol, obviously. Uh, That's probably a lot on beans, legumes. I mean, literally sugar free. Yeah, I mean, you can't have no sugar. Can't do it. Uh uh-uh, uh Don't come up to me for looking for some sugar. I ain't gonna no. give you shit. But I don't see how people maintain this. I think people would have a better chance of maintaining the paleo for mm-hmm. extended amount of time versus the key, the keto diet. Correct. And they make keto-friendly foods now. They're expensive. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how they taste. I, <laughs> Probably I, god-awful. It's like gluten-free bread. Who wants oh, that? Oh, yeah. Wa- if you don't, That's like dairy-free cheese. If you don't have, Who wants that? No one. Literally like, fucking ooze on my pizza. Well, <laughs> I don't see how people, if you don't need to make that dietary restriction mm-hmm. with gluten or um, anything like that, yep. why would you do it? Correct. It's one thing to be like, I just want to see what it tastes like. If yeah. you like it, that's cool. But if you're like, no, I'm changing everything about my diet because it's healthier, yeah. or that's what someone tells me. I mean, that's me. a complete 180. You've, I mean, you're 20 years old, whatever, like let's say you're 20 years old. I mean, you've been eating the same way for 20 years. You think all of a sudden your body's going to quick and then you're going to drop all this damn weight? Right. Fucking ridiculous. It's, it's just like we were saying. It's just another fad diet. Yeah, um, I mean, it's like all... you said about Atkins. Mm-hmm. But Atkins has been around since. I mean, Papa P. I mean, how long was he? How long was he on Atkins? Forever. I think he, he kind of tapered off the well, last few years. You gotta get because some nights, you know, sometimes some, you get the jaundice. It's, yeah, some nights yeah. I see him. You know, he might be snagging on some uh, some well, chips ahoy well, well, they, every every they now and again. Every night, Atkins candy. Atkins candy, like Atkins. Oh yeah, like I see. One of yeah. M&Ms. Oh yeah, it's literally like I think they have like looks like Reese's cups. Oh, okay, but like two of them equals one regular size Reese's, mm. and it's like you know fucking he eat you know you eat it and then it's like well, I'm still hungry. Right. Yeah, there's a reason why, dumbasses. I that's the problem. If like well, you're saying if people talk to a nutritionist or a trainer yeah, like yourself, correct. they can feel better about themselves because they don't kill themselves over mm-hmm. these diets that people are like no, yeah. th- you have to follow it 100 percent. this is what you have to do cut this this and this well see the problem is that let's say you go on the fad diet you go two three weeks you lose that six seven pounds yeah whatever whatever and then you know you you kind of tone off a little you're still technically you're like yeah i'm still on the keto yeah but you kind of backtrack a little bit you're like i might just sneak a little french fry here and there or you know i might have this glass of milk no go and then you know you're like you know you start to lo- you know, you almost start to lose your motivation for it. It's like you go through that six seven pounds. And you're like shit. Was this even worth it? I cut out all this shit from my diet, and you know I'm I'm you know I'm I'm lethargic throughout the day. I got these headaches. There's a reason why, dumbasses, because you don't have those carbs for it. I'm telling you right now. Actually, the um, keto was actually first introduced in the twenties. The twenties. In the twenties, the roaring twenties. You know that you know why, what I'm saying. Why, hmm. The roaring twenties. Hey ho. Well, see that's see, hey ho. See, I think wait, that was Elvis. See, back he was to, in the 1910s, right? Mm-hmm. 1810s. 1810s. But, well, it was it was first brought in the 20s because they were actually they were um it was a fasted to decrease the onset of epilepsy. 
That was that was for, no because that was their first uh, um, hypothesis about it. Is Be- that eating a high fat diet would get rid of your epilepsy? They thought decreasing the carbohydrates would have an effect on your blood on your hyper you know blood pressure oh. hypertension and like uh, your blood sugar level okay. that was when they first that's what their first well because they tell you with keto you if you have diabetes they'll kind of watch out because it, how it well, handles your blood sugar well yeah if you're diabetic you need to watch your carbs correct and sugars that, anything yeah. like that so i mean when i first saw that when i was first reading about that i mean you know there was definitely i mean they've done tests on it yeah. and everything like that it's not as conclusive as I might as I I mean I'm not going to change my goddamn diet. Well, it was the 20s. You know, it was the 20s. And these are the people that would put their cigarettes on the steak sandwich. Oh yes. With their trousers up to their nose. Correct. That well, I'm not, I'm not saying there's any correlation, but wasn't the depression in the 20s? It, it was. I'm a, not, you know, you know, Wall Street kind yeah. of crashed, but it was no, a, it was a simpler time. It was a simpler time. You know. Yes. So in my in my mind, the ketogenic is say. I mean, it's right along with paleo. I don't. I don't think it's worth. It. I don't think it's worth it. It's, I think you're going to get so much more out of just going. Like I said, I'm not promoting myself, but I am. Go to someone who actually who has gone to school for has done their research, and get a balanced diet. Right. Get something you can sustain for more than two months, and you can actually not only are you losing the weight, but it's increasing it's increasing the benefits elsewhere, decreasing the onset of uh, heart disease, of hypertension, all right, blood pressure going down, your normal you know functionality increasing, your normal day activities like that's what you want. Honestly, that is what the average Joe goes to the gym for is when they're 70 years old, they don't ache and break every time they bend over to Velcro their shoe together. Right. That's what they want. Now for guys like you and I, I mean, I'm not saying we're kind of like the mountain, which we are kind of like half Thor. I think we're full Thor. We're not half Thor. Oh, wow. I think we're full Thor. Mm, that's a bold statement. Yeah. Um, I'm not calling him out or anything. If he wants to fly me to Iceland, I'll take him on. Really? I Wait, will take on the mountain. On for In what? Anything. Okay. It doesn't matter if he wants a height challenge. Like, I'll go up against him. <laughs> I will take that fucker down. So, in my mind, the keto and the paleo, they're right on par with each other. Yeah. Like, they're both equally. They, you know, th- they tell you all these positives about it, but the negatives, in my mind, is not going to be worth it. And that's, that, that's what I'm saying. Right. And if you're calculating your macros that, um, that much, mm-hmm. you're going to kill yourself. And another thing, with, with gentlemen like ourselves. Yes. Who we are in the gym, mm. and the one thing about paleo and keto is that it does have a negative effect on that one sex hormone that we, you and I, mm-hmm. cherish the most. Yeah, I'm talking about S testosterone. Who? S testosterone. Oh yes, yes, yes. Testosterone. Yes. It decreases. <clears throat> it actually has a negative effect on our testosterone. Because when you take in carbohydrates, increased energy, increased output in the gym, that definitely that does have a positive effect on your testosterone. Right now, obviously, when you take those carbohydrates out, your fat content does go up. Well, that also has when you increase these fats, like you do in paleo and keto, yeah. insulin resistance goes up, blood clotting um, occurrence goes up, arterial damage, heart attack, constipation, heart disease, hypertension, decrease in, decrease of testosterone. Right. These are things you have to watch out for. Yeah, I mean, look at all the... People don't look at the aspect of down the road. They look at no, it right want... now. Right. They want convenience now. Correct. Not they don't later. Care. They don't care how they're affecting their body in two, three years. They're like, well, shit, it's April and I do not look good in a bikini. If you're thinking to yourself that in April that you don't look in a bikini, don't go to a beach. Right. All right. Just go to your fucking bathtub, swim around by yourself. Nobody wants to see you in a two piece. Definitely not a one piece. What? Not even a one piece. Oh, wow. No. They should wear a burkini. They should just keep their asses home. Okay. Don't go to the beach. All right. Don't go to your local <laughs> swimming hole. Oh, yeah. All right. That's okay. all I'm saying. Well, like, how do you. Down what, by the river. What do you think about, like, bodybuilders who. They try to mimic the insulin, you know, especially like a banana, uh, high in sugar and potassium. Yeah. They'll eat Sour Patch Kids after they work out <laughs> to boost their insulin. Yeah. It doesn't really work probably on a very small level. It is level. a very small scale. I think it honestly goes into a more like that CrossFit cult cult culture. It's like, yeah, man, I'll just have sweet. Like, man, I'll just fucking do I live like 400 pounds. I got these uh, sweetest fish right here. I'm going to pound these down really quick. Right. You don't want to work out no for an intro workout. Like, and like you, you got these guys with like jars of fucking peanut butter. Like, or dude, honey. what the hell are you doing? Like, oh, all right, half Thor does that. Literally, well, before every lift, he, like, squeezes it. He squeezes a fucking half He thing can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's a big-ass man. 
But I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here, bros. Well, like, nobody needs your shit in here. Don't bring your Snickers bar in here and eating it. Listen. While you have these, when you got these people in here, av- you know, average Joes and Janes on the fucking treadmill trying to burn these extra calories just to look decent or, you know, get their body image up. Don't be sitting here eating a fucking Snickers bar. Like, you're not doing anything. If anything, it's just an excuse to have your fucking chocolate and caramel. Well, yeah. Which is more of a Milky Way. Well, I'm not a Snickers kind of fan. The secret is BioGrow. BioGrow? Yes. Is that from uh, fucking Isotor? Mm-hmm. That shit sucks. I remember when it, it first came out. It uh, protein synthesis. Yeah, I'm sure it boosts some, all right? It, you know what it doesn't boost? My wallet. Oh, That shit's expensive. I remember not... when it first came out. It had all these peptides oh, into it. Oh, yeah. Dumb. I fell Dumb. into too. I fell into it. I bought it. I was like, man. Well, remember Chris Jones? Remember that he was, mm. yeah, he was a he was a gentleman. He on YouTube, Chris Jones. It, it, no, he's like he every time he introduced, it, like when he first started, he's like, "This is Chris Motherfucking Jones." But then when he started getting bigger, he didn't say "motherfucking" anymore. He's like, "Hey, man, this is Chris Jones." He kind of stopped doing it. Was it because of the BioGrow? Um, yeah, I think the BioGrow people were like, "Yeah, Chris, uh, we should definitely like take back so, the motherfucker." So he did get big off of BioGrow, is what you're saying? I think he got big off of BioGrow's uh, stocks. I think oh. that's I think that's what groomed the hey, most. Definitely his head bigger. and his wallet, not as so much his body. So keto paleo so far, do it for a few weeks and see what happens, and don't do it for an extended amount of time. I mean, try try it out. I mean, doing it like you said, doing it for a short period, it's not going to have that negative effects on you. Yeah, do it for. A few I mean, weeks. if anything, you might have a few headaches here and there, and like I said, you're going to feel tired throughout the day a little bit but right. I mean shit do two three weeks of it try it out yeah well one thing I want to touch on is the carnivore diet ooh carnivore <laughs> Rawr! Da, 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 da. who got that pute puma in here there's a, a puma in, there's this, a, in this closet there's a leopard in here oh now I thought it was a puma uh, there's a leopard and a puma are you talking about the puma shoes no 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 no. you yeah, know they started right coming out with basketball shoes puma I think they're trying to make a comeback I like puma well you saw the Nike shoes that blew out they have fucking Zion Williamson. He's the number one prospect coming out of college. Sure. He has a Nike. They Nike. You know, he pl- plays at Duke. Has Nikes. Okay. Fucking going down the court. Literally first thirty seconds of the game, shoe blows out. What do you mean it blows out? Blows out. His whole heel like pops out. Like of the what? shoe, like the sole. H- hilarious. You know what shit. he needed is those shoes that. Um, you talking about the... Kramer on uh, Seinfeld? No, no, no. Which no. One from Ernest about? Slam's Dunk. What shoes were those? Uh, were those the ones you jumped? Those are the ones that made him like fly across the court. Are we talking about flubber, where you put the no, shoe no, no, when no, you no, put no. the gunk on it. No, 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 they were uh, not flubber. magic shoes. Oh, magic shoes! They, who's the only white guy on the team? We talking like, about Back to the Future? He was like, <sighs> we talking about fly shoes? No, no, he was like the oh, janitor in the arena, I think. And then they're like, hey, white boy, you want to play? And he's like, okay. And, <laughs> Is that Ernest? Okay, <laughs> okay I'll play. I, that's not a good yeah, Jim Barney impression, but but yeah. <laughs> That's like, that's my, that's my what's his name Jim Carney uh, not Carney what's his Jim name? Varney Jim Varney yeah yeah oh I can't shit it's been so long since I seen Ernest no. goes to jail <laughs> I can't, I can't remember how he talks Ernest scared stupid oh or, is that the one the Halloween one With, like, when the, the troll trolls. comes to life yeah and, and then there's Ernest saves he, Christmas he I like threw that one milk on him and they go <laughs> ooh no. <laughs> They, they, they didn't want to pay that troll uh, toll no pay the troll toll get into that boy's hole so carnivore carnivore uh pure meat. That's it. No vegetables, fruit, grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, no starches. Dairy, depending who you ask, is somewhat allowed on a small now is basis. It, do they strict it to like red meat? Or is it like you just pretty much... No, just pure meat. Just pure meat. Okay. Pure meat. So any seafood? Uh, fattier meats okay. are good. Okay. So okay. It falls in all... Why, does, why do I feel like all these diets are like no carbs? <sighs> like that's it. Like carbs are bad. How can you survive off of pure protein? Yeah. You know how bad that is for you? How bad it how bad it is what for your, your stomach and testicles and your heart. I want to see blood work af- yeah. for someone's kidneys and liver after that. Hell yeah! If you're eating that much protein, it will wreck hit. your system. Yes. You ever take a protein shit? Mm. You know how bad those are. Fuck! It just like so stiff, so much fiber. It oh, just like yeah. hurts your hurts your bee hole coming out. But oh I man! I just don't like see coming how... off a horse. I'd rather do. I mean, out of all these diets that we're talking about so mm-hmm. far, paleo is the one that someone could do. Yeah. Way beyond these other two. Correct. Especially carnivore. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So you're eating fattier meat. So let's say like salmon. Yeah. Or delicious. But I don't know if they're comparing that to pork, which is definitely a fatty Ugh, meat. I but that's not a good fat though. So I don't know if that would. Are you compete. Are you telling me bacon's not good? You you go ahead. Just you, just the gristle. Okay, sweet. Yeah. I cooked eggs. Uncooked I, gristle. I cooked uh, eggs and bacon grease 
Yeah. One time, oh man, they were they were fucking delicious. I better wreck your oh, gut though. Oh god, no, everything it slipped. Oh, right it, out. it just it was just like swimming in heaven down there. I really? was just like you didn't a model. have any issues after. I that? was Ryan Gosling in La La Land. Never saw it. Oh, it was not. I don't know. I never saw it. Did I think he, it was dan- like, he danced Emma, in there? Yeah, I think it was like with Emma Stone or something. Oh, I think what her name wow. was. Wow, I don't give a hell. I don't what know a, what talents. What talent? But anyway, so carnivore just seems outrageous. Meat, 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 meat. Yeah, essentially. Mm-hmm. No, but carnivore, I would, I don't know if I could do it for a week. Uh, you know, I, I just don't think I could do it. I mean, I guess, I guess in turn, it really all depends because you have to think about it. Without these carb carbohydrates in your system, in your diet, you have to make up this, cal- you have to make up these calories. Now with a lot of these diets, you don't, it's almost like you're not counting calories. It, it, it how they kind of, which may be better for some people because if is. you focus on like, I can only have 1500 calories You'll go crazy. A day. You'll pull your you'll hair out. Yourself. Yeah, because like you'll go to bed and be like, "Oh God, I need nine carb. I need you know, I need nine grams of protein and sixty-five grams of fat." Right. What the hell are you gonna have? A bunch of avocados. A fucking half a cup of uh, um, uh, olive oil. Ooh. Ooh, that's delicious. Take a couple shots of that, you'd be okay. But yeah, I know. I completely agree with you. Yeah. It's not. No, sorry guys, not me. No. I gotta have my starches. Can't do it. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. So we're gonna switch topics now. We talked about the diet. Yeah, so now we're going to talk about V-Daddy. So he came to me with this idea a couple days ago, and apparently V-Daddy thinks he's a he, he's a fucking strong man in training. Well, I, I'm not going to say he's not, but he's not. I mean, I'm not going to agree with you, but okay. I'll agree with you. Sweet. We're going to rattle off some names. Yeah, go ahead, man. What are we gonna talk? Yeah. What, what, what are we even talking about here? We're talking about stats, bro. What are we talking about, man? We're talking about stats. So let's listen, do it. Listen, let's do it, man. We're talking about big men, okay, lifting big things. Sweet. And that's it. All right, let's okay. go. What's simpler? Than, all right, first one in no specific order: Brian Shaw, from the greatest country in the world. U.S.A. That is correct. Remember from Beer Fest? Huh? Remember the beer guy from Beer Fest? Oh yeah. U.S.A. That was a great movie. Yeah, it was a great movie. The bubble. The <laughs> da- bubble. Da- bubble. Brian Shaw. Uh huh. I didn't think he, he's forty three. I didn't think he was that old. God, he's old. He's up. Oh man, he trains up in Colorado. All that yeah. high altitude training. Well, see, him. he doesn't have to do the blood doping like these other people do. Nope. He's trained at the Automatic man, right in nature. No chambers. He's got to sleep in. No uh-uh. nothing. I turned the mic. A little technical difficulty. Man, I'm telling you, one All of right. these days we're gonna get a good fucking mic that works. Well, it's the stand. It's not the mic. And chip in. Well, where's where's Jimmy the IT guy? Where's he at this weekend? Who? Jimmy the IT guy. Remember, he was at Katsukon last weekend. I fired him. You fired him? Yeah. You gave him a severance? No. Oh, okay. He kept showing up drunk and stealing on the job. <laughs> anyway, Brian Shaw, 43, 6, You're eight. fucking stealing the grease. God damn it. <laughs> Let me tell you about his stats. <laughs> Listen, Brian Shaw, 43, 6, 8, 4, 19. Big boy. LBs. Okay. All right. What's that, what's that in KGs? Uh, Math, go. Last I checked, this is America. Okay, sweet. And we use pounds. <laughs> no metric system here, Listen, British fucks. World's strongest man in 2018, he got third. 2017, third. 2016, he got first. Okay. Arnold's strong man, 2018, he got second. 2017, he got first. 2016, he got second. Boo. And a lot of these strong men, powerlifter guys, mm-hmm. they do back-to-back competitions. Yeah, of course. They have to. Because right. Arnold, how many do they have? Four? Or three, uh, because they got the they're Colum- all, all over. They got Columbus. They got one in Africa. One in Australia. Did they have one in Japan? I no. don't. I think it's only three. Is it three? I think it's four. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's Columbus, somewhere in Africa. Is it South Africa? It probably, it's somewhere in probably Australia, in and I think the other ones in like it's somewhere in the UK. Somewhere. Are you uh, sure? Yeah, yeah. I think it's Germany or yeah. It has to. It's one of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll take Not South order. America though. Mm-mm. No, no, no. No, 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 God, uh, fucking listen, Southern Maryland. Times are tough. Times are tough, All man. Right. Takes right. a lot for that, you know, human trafficking to get over here. Uh, you're telling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in competition, Brian Shaw, deadlift 1014 with the elephant bar 1021. That's a that's a fucking huge ass bar. It is. Bar. It's way. Long. I watch watch his video. He doesn't even, at his home gym. He doesn't even have an elephant bar. No. Which I don't understand. Because I mean he's he's got all these damn sponsors. You think, man, I'm telling you, every video you watch of him, it's Redcon. 
Like he well, promotes he was, it. He was MHP. Well, every like literally every. I understand he's got to promote him, make make his money. You know, do you? It's, you it's probably his main sponsor. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Recon. I mean, they they fucking they're all about Brian Shaw. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Log lift four forty. Mm-hmm. Atlas stone five sixty. And then a keg toss. He got eight kegs in sixteen point five nine did he, seconds. Did, now did Arnold drink the beer out of the keg first, or did he just chuck it? He just chucked it. Okay. I would say, because Arnold, that's all Arnold lived off of was beer. Remember exactly. that? Beer. And I think in the documentary, he was smoking something in pumping in pumping iron. He was smoking something on the couch. Speeding and. I don't know. Speeding and. Yeah. Smoking the reef. That's right. All I right. don't know what it was, but it looked a little ganja Exactly. So, Brian Shaw, what do you say, yay or nay? Um, Overall. De- yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely top five. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Who do you um, have? I, I'm going to go with someone who's kind of dimmed back from the strongman is definitely going to be uh, Eddie Hall. Like I said, this is not in any order. This I is just, also have Eddie Hall. Yeah, see, because you, know, you know I'm the best. Eddie Hall, uh, world, strongman, uh, world Strongest Man first in 17. Uh, 16, he got third. Uh, in 15, he got fourth. His world record in deadlift with a suit, 500 kilos, which obviously is a world record. Yes. And he, that was a fucking. The video, he just, oh. he said he almost lost like a liter of blood. Dude, it was all I, in his I, I, beard, I, I, coming out of his nose ridiculous. and his eyes. It was the, that was probably the single most, because I've watched a lot of Strongman, a lot of Arnold's. That was probably one of the single most, like, um, impressive moment I've ever seen in lifting. Right. Just the, I mean, just the perseverance to get it past. Because, I mean, obviously, it's right, it's honestly, some people think getting it to the knees is the hardest. It's right when you get to the knees. It's that finishing right. part. Well, you know what's crazy oh, is, it's so at that same, it was 2016, I think. Was that what it was? Yeah. Okay. So, what's 500? Kilograms? It's around is 11, it? it's not 12, it's around like 11 something. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, because this year in the Arnold in Columbus, they're having the $50,000 record. It's, a, you have to deadlift a thousand, I think it's 1100 plus, I think it's 1100, okay. I think it's 1100, 1100 plus, but if you, it, automatically, if you get it, you get $50,000 from Rogue. Oh, wow. And I don't even think you get that much from if you win Arnold. No. The strongman. Not at so all. fucking just train for the goddamn deadlift and get it. and you're good to go. Yeah. Well, it was that same year, mm-hmm. Jerry, I think, was it Pritchett and Magnuson, Benedict Magnuson, uh-huh. they pulled 465 kilograms. Okay. <laughs> Watch the video of Magnuson do it. He's like yelling at the weight, pointing at it. Mm-hmm. He psychs himself up. He's so charismatic. He's so cool. Yeah. Then he tried 500 after that. How bad was it? It didn't, didn't even move. It moved a few inches, but but it wasn't. I mean, when you're pulling that much and you're like, fuck it. I mean, make it, it 500. Yeah, because like, I mean, like, between a 465 and 300, I mean, 500. You're talking like it, and that's like 75, 80 pounds. Lot. I it's mean, a that's lot. a huge jump. Yeah. And just doing, I well, mean, that's that, very at that level. It's not correct. like. It's not like you're first starting three fifty. Yeah, it's not like a one to thirty five and a two hundred pound deadlift. I mean, this is between, you know, a thousand fifty and right. And at that know. level, that big jump mm-hmm. is make it or break. Oh yeah, um, and then uh, some other his world other world record is going to be the Axel Press two hundred sixteen kilos. And the other uh, stat that I thought was super impressive was eleven hundred kilo leg press. I mean, that's fucking. That's a car. I mean, that's Absolutely. a ton. That's oh, a yeah. ton plus. Yep. I mean, to do that. I mean, and you know, strongmen and powerlifters, they're going full reps. Oh, yeah. It's not like a half rep. They're, right. you know, getting up. It's not like Dingleberry, who's Ooh. doing these half reps and then jumping up and screaming, walking around. Which, to speak of Castleberry again. What about Fakenberry? I don't think he ever pulls up his pants past right above his. Well, he pulls right him, above. He pulls them down. Oh, I mean, literally, you see his hip bones every single time. You, you, see, you see his ass crack. Barely. It, I mean, it's a tease of what is to all become. I'm seeing. All I'm seeing is his little chode of a dick. Is like literally because always wears his sweatpants. Oh yeah, and I, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, I, it you know I, I I'm not speaking it. on Castleberry anymore. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> Castleberry, you can suck my right nut. Remember last week? Just the right one. Remember last week? Did you say left? Last GNC week? got my left nut this week. Castleberry uh, can get my right nut. Don't worry, I'm got someone so, for I got someone for the gooch next week. Oh wait, so the bears are taking care of who's getting the twig? Oh, that's that's something oh, special. Oh, That's a, I might that's TBD or I'm keeping it to myself. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, Eddie Hall, and re- as of recently, Eddie Hall has been kind of. You can see him start to slim down a little bit. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, he's lost a lot I of mean, weight. Relative. To I mean, I was. just saw a video the other day of him training with Brian Shaw. They were doing some. Seems they, it. they were doing some log presses. Yeah. So I mean, don't get still me wrong. Oh, he's still strong. extremely strong. Don't get me wrong, but he's definitely nowhere near his 500 kilo deadlift anymore. No. But then again, I mean, why does he need to keep doing it? Well, when, he, you know, he I think he kind of reached his well, peak. And he's much shorter than the other guys. He's 6'3", yeah. but still 
four hundred something pounds. Yeah, that's a that's a same, huge, that's a huge ass weight. fire hydrant walking around. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yep. at that weight, he's a height, thick mobile. Is what he is. His life expectancy must be very low. Well, you got to think with these a lot of these strong men. Not only are they lifting godly amounts of weight, what they're eating, which we'll we'll kind of go oh, over. Yeah. What they're eating. I mean, the blood pressure alone. To for, just to move all that, to move the yeah. circulation through that mass is fucking ridiculous. And you figure all of them probably have to have a CPAP machine or they'll die while they sleep. Oh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> or fucking, a mouth guard or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, I honestly, that's why you don't see strong men. I mean, there's a few different cases like the um, Savikas and uh, uh, Pudnowski. Like, they've, they lasted a long time. Yeah. But I mean, I granted, I don't know how their regiments went or how their diets yeah. really went. But I mean, that's why you see these strong men. They have shelf lives of eight to twelve years, maybe, of solid work. Like they're getting in, they're oh, yeah, getting these yeah. records. Yep. After that, they kind of they kind of tone down, and that's kind of why now uh, B- Bill Cassie back in the eighties. Yeah. We'll talk about him yeah, later. Yeah. I mean, he he was fucking dominating through the early oh, yeah. eighties, but then he had an injury and he tried to come back, and they tried to force him out, and right. they wanted the competition to be a little bit. You know, the competition wasn't very stiff. Uh, but I mean, that's why these guys only have shelf lives. It's a right. little bit different compared to bodybuilders. I mean, yeah. you've seen these, like, I mean, you can, you can win eight, like fucking Phil Heath, which let's I, not get into. Yeah. Phil Heath, but, or at least on this episode. Correct. We'll, but we'll talk about that's why it. bodybuilders can have these, they can do like Michael Hearn. You can have these extended physiques for 20 years. Well, he's all natural. Oh yeah. Never failed once. It's not like his job is to be cheat test, cheat test. Mm-hmm. He's got, he's got, he got the cheat codes. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, um, Eddie Hall, I think he would definitely be. Okay. I, yeah, I, I don't think his his accolades aren't as impressive as some of these other guys, but I think just that five hundred pound, five hundred kilo. It, that's that, that puts him on the list. It ha- top three. Mm-hmm. And I like his. I like his. Uh, I watched that documentary on him on Netflix. Oh yeah, him that was being good. a mechanic for yeah ten hours a day every and day. Quit his and job. Then still and doing just, strong. Yeah, man. but then he just quit. And he was like, I'm putting my all my well, life you, effort you into this. You saw the stress it put on his wife. She's yeah. like, if you keep doing this, you're going to die. Yep. And he had, a, what, one, two kids? I think he had two kids at the time. Two kids? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, these, I don't know how he could fit under a car. I mean, unless it was... No, it was like those ones that has the bay underneath of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was up in... Where, he was fucking, what, UK somewhere, Yeah, right? yeah. yeah he was he, British, Britain or something. Yeah, I don't fucking know. England somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere anyway. One of those commie countries. So, the next one that we both can be, agree on, Half Thor... Julius Beyonce. 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 Mr. Icelandic. Uh, the mountain for the Icelandic, Game of Thrones. Iceland, Icelandic women are hot, man. They're Even, fucking. They're gorgeous. Well, see, so it doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter. But what, the, it doesn't matter. They're all. They're all as big as half Thor. That's fine. Well, that, let me give you a fine. background. That's if fine. You, if she can squat me, do it. Squat me right to the bedroom. Can do. If you want to deadlift me off those sheets, do it. You know what's funny is he's what? the same age as me. He's thirty. <sighs> what did I do wrong? So he is your mountain to your anthill, that is, is what you're saying. Listen, he's 6'9", I'm 5'8", 5'8", eight, eight, eight hey, and hey, a half on a good day. 5'9". He's 440, I'm 186. <laughs> Soaking wet. Soaking wet. Yeah, uh-huh. So <laughs> we're not too far off. No, no, no. I think I think one good meal in you, well, I think you'll be right there. You know, he tweeted me, and he said... Uh, I want to look like you when I cut. Yeah. All right, buddy. So I'm going to bring him over to the U.S. <laughs> oh, you're going to bring him over. You're going to play that, pay no, that no, plane no, no, ticket? No, no, oh. no, no. It's all on him. I mean, I, okay. I'm inviting him. Gotcha. Okay. You're you're sending the RSVP over. Yeah, exactly. Okay, because I bet you he would take like two, three seats up. Well, I'm just... How, does, how do they fit on planes? There's videos of Brian Shaw trying to fit on a plane. That's fucking... I, how? You would think at that point you'd have to fly first class to get that extra leg room. You have to. And wider seat. Fucking ridiculous. You'd or be, just get a you get private because plane. Be, yeah, because I mean, how long does it take from U.S. to any other country over in Europe? I mean, it's got to be, uh, what, 12 hours? It, de- it depends. I mean, sitting in that seat for that extended amount of time when you're two, three times larger, how the fuck you do it? Right. And the amount of food you still got to eat. Oh, yeah. Over those... It's uh, unbearable. You're right. All right. Who, so, who else you got? Well, no, I want to give a rundown. I have oh, to. He's 6'9", 440. Okay. World's strongest man in 2018. He got first place 2017, second, 2016, second. God, go get a room already. Arnold Strongman, 2018 first. Okay? okay. 2017 second, 2016 fifth. Boo, you suck. Europe's strongest man, 2018 and 17 first place. Yeah, that's right. Deads with the elephant bar, 1,041. Unbelievable. Log press, 470. Cake toss, 8 kegs in 16.35 seconds. Ridiculous. 
I don't know if I'm sure not everyone listening has seen a strongman competition. Just look it up. Oh, mind it's, blowing. It's unbelievable. I saw the record breakers. I rewatched the rogue record breakers yep. from last year from mm-hmm. Columbus, and there was a lift where I cr- I can't remember the gentleman's name, but he had a bar. They they it was back in like the old eighteen nineties nineteen hundreds, and it was an old style barbell. And at the ends they had their plates, but they had like a cylinder that went around it. It looked like those old timey weights. It looks like a ball at the end. Oh yeah, like a big circus dumbbell. Correct. Yeah. Well, he held it straight up. And I he saw ha- that. Did you yeah, see that? Yeah, yeah. And he has to, what you have to do is you stand it straight up. You have to get underneath of the bar. Now the bar is vertical. Yeah. So you literally have to turn sideways, get underneath the bar. This was about 540 pounds. Ooh. I think it might've been even more. So that was a, a nice warm up weight. All right. He literally gets under it, has to put it onto his shoulders, squat up and down. He did it like three times. Didn't even need to do it. And then he has to sit it back down. So, just grant it. Try doing that with 135. No. See how your balance is. No thanks. And fucking, I mean, and his girlfriend was in the back. Dude, she was she was hot. Just I'm just putting it that. Was That's the I- one thing I noticed. Was he Icelandic? No, he was he was he was American. Oh wow. He was from the UK, I believe, but he uh, he like he moved here like I got like 20 years ago. So. So half Thor, yay or nay? Oh yay! Of course, you can't go against the mountain. He killed Bud Light, mate. Bud Knight. Who? In the Bud Super Bowl. Knight, he yeah. killed him, man. Whoa. How are you going to kill Bud Knight? That's what they did. Sorry. <sighs> Fuck, man. Shameless, they, don't even put, they don't even put corn syrup in their sh- beer. Shameless Fuck promo you, Miller. for that HBO show. <sighs> Coors Light, you but fuck when, too. When you can squat 970, bench press 551, ugh, yeah. and dead 904 on a... Baby yeah. cakes. Baby I mean, cakes. I mean, if you pop a guy's head, eh. Yeah, what's it to you? Who's going to stop you? Correct. Apparently no one. Who did he kill in the show? What's that one fight he did squash the guy's yeah, eyes Yeah, he killed that. Never watched the show once. He killed but I... that uh, Mexican guy. No, he killed I... that uh, Hispanic guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was uh, the Latino. Oh, ding. Huh? All right. Oh, yeah. But yeah, definitely. Oh, thumbs up to Half Thor. Oh, yeah. All right, so who do you have? Oh, man. I'm going... Oh, if anyone's going to be on this list that appeals to you, that moisture palette, it's going to be this guy, Mr. Mark Sexual Chocolate Henry. Mr. Self-proclaimed world's strongest man. Oh, I'm t- well. He at least act- in the WWE. Correct. Universe. He was in the WWF in '96. So it was uh, a while ago. WWE now. Thank oh, you. I'm sorry. This is World Wrestling. I don't want to get sued by McMahon. Okay. okay. Uh, but yeah. So in back in 2002, he became. He did get first in the Arnold. Um, he was. So this is kind of where it branches off. But there's. It's. There's a very fine line between powerlifting and strongmen because a lot of theirs are are the same, like Olympic lifting, like the clean and jerk. But the, they the, all do deadlifts. Correct. But in he actually he was uh, in the Olympics back in the nineties. He did the clean and jerk for the Olympic team, and he actually he he did he did win. And it's very all right. So you have to think these these strongmen these lifts are yes heavy, but they are with a lot of them they're a little bit slower. There's very few times that it's a it's quick. Like it's power, it's a powerful lift. They are just strong. They're lifting these enormous amounts of weight, but there's no time limit. It's not, you know, trying to, you know, get it over top of your head as fast as you can. The clean and jerk is a very fast lift. Obviously, getting it clean, getting it up on right onto right onto the shoulders, right near the collarbones, but just jerking it up. It's such a quick motion that a man of 300 plus pounds doing it is beyond recognition. Right. But Mark Henry did it. And not only did he uh, compete in the Olympics, he did US, USAPL in 95, 97, and he did very well for himself. Yeah. But, I mean, you, I mean, you've mean, you seen Mark Henry. Oh, yeah. I mean, not I've only, seen him pull a truck. Not only is he fucking strong as hell, not so much anymore. Mr. No. Sexual Chocolate has, has been on the decline, I yeah. think, the I last mean, few years. Even when he was wrestling, he was, he was good... For his body type, yeah, but I don't know. He, I mean, he looked then, he looked like a mounds bar. I mean, yeah, he, he was just lumpy all over. Well, so he's still very active with wrestling. He's oh, yeah. more he's bes- behind is he the still scenes. On, is he still on there? He's doing behind the scenes stuff, okay. story writing, uh, management uh, okay. stuff like gotcha. that. Gotcha. Um, set decorator. Gotcha. Set decorator. Ah. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I definitely uh, just his the way he lifted it. It just you know, it's almost like. Because you got to look at these guys today. Definitely like Half Thor. Um, I mean, I, I, I hate saying it because he's not on the list, but like even Larry Wheels. I mean, these guys 
like they're transforming their bodies so much. Like you look at Half Thor, it's not like he has a huge ass gut. Like Eddie Hall when he was, you know, back in sixteen, oh, he I mean, just looked fat. He looked like a fucking blob. Yeah. But when you look like a Half Thor and even up and coming like Larry Wheels um, and Bill Cassidy back in the eighties, I mean, these guys didn't have huge guts. I mean, they were no. they were just fucking shit brick Do you houses. You think it was the growth hormone? <sighs> I'm not saying he got it from his titty milk. And I'm oh. not saying he got it, you know, in the black market. Why has it got to be black? I mean, I'm not trying to be racial here, but I don't think. But the it wi- is the black. I market. don't think you can get this shit on the white market. Is that Wall Street? White, market? white market. Oh, that's the white market. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Kirk. Oh yeah, uh, Michael Kirk. Michael Douglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll get you. Shia LaBeouf, not so much. Gecko. Yeah, yeah Gecko. Yeah, yeah. Geico. Oh, he'll be got. Uh, but yeah, so love definitely uh, Mark Henry for sure. Okay. Um, I just, I mean, I just love, I just love watching them lift. Right. So I can't complain. You. Can't complain. All right. So the last on my list. Hit uh, me. Hit he, me. Hit me. Sub, hit me. Saviscus. Hit me. Su, su, saviscus. Okay. All right. Uh, Zy Saviscus. Z. Drunus Saviscus. Oh. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Oh, and, he, and, so, and and what country was he from? Uh, what country did he originate from? Lithuania? Lithuania. Yeah. Lithuania, so, we I, I love you. Are you the That was the first the part, that was the first part of the of their national No, 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 you're right. It sounds like Kazakhstan's yep. greatest nation. Uh-huh. So, he's the oldest on my list. He's yeah. 43. Uh-huh. He hasn't been very too active recently. No. But the reason I picked him is just his incredible he's just won so list much. of achievements. Yes. Yeah. So, we probably the same thing. So, He's 6'3", 375 to 401. Yep. Smaller than all these other guys. Yes. Height of Hedy Hall. Now, he's got a keg. Yes. He he, he's got... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Four times World's Strongest Man, two-time IFSA champ, eight-time World's Strongman, three-time Europe's strong, yeah, Europe Strongman, mm-hmm. four-time World Loglift champ, 15-time Lithuania Strongman. Yep. Th- that means it's all first place. Oh, yeah. I mean, when and you there, and there's way, way when you more. when you win a competition as big as Arnold for five straight years, yes, three oh three oh four oh five oh six oh seven oh no eight. Yeah, when you can win something like that in dominating fashion for so long, mm-hmm. you've pretty much set your record in stone. Right, and you can just be that dominant year after year because they don't do the same events every single year. No, so when you can do that on a consistent basis. I mean, you have the makes of a. I mean, he because I don't think he's in. The, he's not obviously. He's not in the World Strongest Man Hall of Fame. Right. He will definitely. He be should in the, be. He will be. Well, yeah. I mean, so I definitely agree. Oh yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, it's <sighs> because I think in Lithuania he's like a he's a, he's like a government type. He's like a um he's like a mayor or something. I mean, he does something for, with political. Oh, he'll get shit done. Oh yeah, I bring the hammer, in Lithuania. <laughs> Who? Bring the hammer in Lithuania. Did you, did you say little wiener? Little wiener. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But yeah, definitely size of Vickis. I definitely agree with you. Yeah, um, I think overall he's got to be one of the greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. Um, the last two, I'm not going to – I'll just briefly just quick off. I know you're probably going to agree with bo- both of them, but Pudnowski – Mm. And uh, Bill Ka- Bill Kazmaier. Those are going to be my know. last two. Uh, Pudnowski, five world strong, five time world strongest man, Hall of Famer. Um, the, the one accolade that I think he's uh, most profound in, he got first place in forty two out of fifty nine events he ever yeah. participated in. When I mean, that, I mean that's like seventy percent. You're getting first place. Yeah. You're passing any test that you go mm-hmm. into. I wish you'd help me with my SATs about a couple of years ago, but he wasn't there. A couple of years ago, huh? A couple of years. No, yeah, you're um, Bill Kazmaier. Now, I, <laughs> my first fact about him, 60-inch chest. This was at his prime. 40-inch waist. Oh. That's fucking, that's a taper. I mean, that's fucking V. That's hourglass. Were you looking up my Wikipedia page? Uh, I thought you were 65-inch chest, 30-inch waist. Yes. Was that not correct? Uh, I think so. <sighs> You gotta uh, check the references. Shit, my for bad, my, page. my bad, I, man. I saw, I saw brown eye, and I was like, shit, that's that's V Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, now another another accomplishment from Pal- from Bill was not only was he super ass strong, but his eyesight was superhuman. He was twenty, you know, he was he could 20, see through walls. He was twenty thirteen in one eye and 20, 2011 in another eye. What? Like that's like superhuman, like super focused. I don't think he's. Human. That means nothing in strongman or powerlifting. He could but, see the victory. I mean, he could see the victory before it happened. Right. Exactly. I'm not talking like fi- I'm talking like Final Destination style. He could oh. see it in his mind before oh, it actually yeah, happened. Yeah, 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 I actually just watched Final Destination one, Destination two, Destination three. Yeah. The past couple days. Did you watch the three D one? There's a three D one. I think so. Was that like after three? I don't know. Oh God, no! I hope not. You know, what the, I've come to the, I've, but I've come to the conclusion: Final Destination one, best one. 
You know what's cool about all those movies? Nothing. What? They're all the same. But that's why the first one's the best one. Wait. The second and third one, they were shit. We're all going to die oh, yeah. in an order. Exactly. No, the third one was cliche because like literally right after the first event happened, the girl, she was like, oh, what's happening to me? <laughs> and then the guy yeah. comes up and he like com- he like says the entire storyline. He's like, oh, well, you get a premonition and then everyone else who survived, they go through all these horrible things and we need to get everybody together and we need to save each other. It kind of ruins the whole movie. Dumbasses. Like, the first movie, because you didn't know what was going to happen, obviously. But, I mean, everyone else played dumb to it. They're like, yeah. oh, shit, I control my life. And, it, yeah. Um, well, they forgot they were in the movie. That correct. That um, says otherwise. Bill Kazmaier, first ever to bench 661. In um, competition? or Yeah, in competition. Oh, okay. Um, he was IPF champ in 79-83. He was the first to win three World Strongest Men in a row, 80, 81, and 82. His greatest uh, three lift total was 24-25. Oh, wow. Three fucking lifts. Fucking ridiculous. Huge mm. ass man. Because I think he still, he still, uh, the, uh, he still like coordinates World's Strongest Man. Right? Does he? I think he's still like the bang guy, like every time you like a broadcaster. I think oh, he's, okay. I think he's still on there. The last time I watched, at least, I think he was. I don't pay so. attention to the commentators. What? Listen. Are you kidding me? All I want to see. Titties. <laughs> well, I was going to say a big. Boobies. Su- big sweaty dudes. Nips. Oh, you want to see man nips? Big, oh, big sweaty man nips left okay, in okay. big weight. Uh huh. All right. All right. Commentators aren't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Mark Henry he commentated a, a few times. He did. For I'm uh, pretty sure. Uh, I don't know about that. He just needs to stick to the sidelines. I think he's a just qu- saying. he's a better like spectator and just like rooting on. I, I think I don't know how much like insight he can really give me. Yeah, you were great, but that was twenty years ago. Yeah. Time to move on, buddy. Right. You but, know, you ain't no Bill Kaz, man. Right. But people need to open their eyes to watching strongman competitions and respect it because, yeah, it may look like they're just picking up a big solid rock, but yeah. that big solid rock is 400 pounds. And now, before and before you go off and trying to pick up like a hobby of like to what to do, and you're like, oh, maybe I should do some of these trends like CrossFit. Maybe I should do CrossFit. Like this looks interesting. No, you assholes. You know what's funny is CrossFit. It's always the most out of shape people yeah. that are obsessed, of course, with CrossFit. Yeah, because they're like, I mean, have you ever like I've never how many been, AMRAPs are you doing? I've never been inside a CrossFit gym. Have you? Have you ever been in one? I think no, there's like two. Think there's it, two in the county. It's probably very similar to a powerlifting gym where it's just a bunch of platforms and mm. open space. Okay, I, I would imagine. I think. I mean, I. From what I've seen, like YouTube videos, like CrossFit workouts, which I don't oh, like. Did you see? Did you see Mark Bell? He did, like he and a couple other people. They went through a CrossFit workout. Fucking. Oh yeah. I put the dislike and I commented and Ooh, I was like, I'm never him. watching your shit again, Mark yeah. Bell. But um, makes a hell of a problem. But yeah, before you go and like, oh, maybe I should go pick up something. You know, you're in the gym, whatever, and you know you're already lifting. You're like, maybe I should kind of go a different avenue. Don't just go straight to CrossFit, all right? No, that's look no. at it. Like V Daddy said, go look at strong men, look at powerlifting, all right? Yeah, you know, most of the time, nine times out of ten, they're not the slimmest people, but they are some of the strongest that you'll ever meet. Right. But, well, that's what people want. They want to be massively strong, yeah. but have a eighteen inch waist. Correct. That's not possible unless you're. I mean, Ronnie Coleman. I, I mean, if you oh. I haven't seen him in a while. How's he doing? He's uh I watched the documentary on him, man. I felt I felt terrible for him. It's like C. T. Fletcher too. And like then he had, he had a heart transplant. He had like you know? he had like two heart attacks. Dude. I mean, fucking, he's just going downhill. He, His son's an idiot. Why? You ever seen him deadlift? No. Watch it, deadlift. Is it all back? Oh, dude, it's bad. It's like a whole cat. Oh. And then oh, oh. it's bad. So he arches his back like okay. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. So it looks like a mountain. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's literally. Literally fucking like taking a tire iron. Have you, you know. Speaking of arching, did you yep. ever see that video of that young Russian girl bench? Oh, where oh, she? Look, I, I oh, could have sworn duh, her back was about duh, to break. Don't get me started up in here talking about that shit. It started. Oh man, she's a fucking idiot. Now I love watching powerlifting. I've I have trained powerlifters before. All right, I've trained state and I've trained uh, um, country. Um, Country record, strong. Country strong record power lifters. I've trained them before. And now, granted, when you're benching, yes, you have to keep your shoulders, your neck down on the bench. You have to keep your ass down. You do not have to keep your lower back down. You but don't there ha- has to be, isn't there a limit of you, the arch no, you put in your no, back? No, as long as literally, as long as your tip of your ass is on that bench, it counts it. 
Is that all across the board with all the leagues? That I don't know. I've only dealt with USPA. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I mean, they might have stipulations like a no, like a quarter year halfback have to be on there or something mm-hmm. like that. But fucking, I saw her. She always wears. She always has ponytails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she was. It was a couple years ago. She was at the animal cage. Was that what it was? That, I think that was probably the video yeah. that you watched. That's the one I watched at least. And yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, she was like doing like two hundred. I don't fucking know. But she remember. was she's like 13 14 like 13 so, 14 years is, old. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, literally she's doing her range of like 3 inches. Yeah. I'm like that's not strength. It's like a decline press. That is not strength. Okay? You know, that's not bad for a woman. Oh, here all right, here's the thing. I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you. I opened up a can of worms. <laughs> you've, as they say. you've opened a can of sexist? Yeah. Who? Sexism? What about it? Women studies. Women's studies. <laughs> women's, Let's talk about stu- that. women's studies. Intro to women's studies 101. Got it. You're here with Professor Big Tony. Big T. I do not believe like I I I love women in the gym. Don't get me wrong. Like bettering yourself, he- healthier life, happy life. That's great. But what what really grinds my gears? Uh oh, he said it. Grinds my gears mm-hmm. is when you're in the gym. If you're a woman, don't wear booty shorts. Don't wear a crop top. Don't wear anything revealing. I've seen women in the gym deadlift and they wear booty shorts and they're at last, like their little bit of their ass is showing, like their little bottom half. Sure. And don't complain when guys are gawking over you and trying to hit on you. Don't fucking wear that shit if you don't, if you expect not to get looked at. It's not going to happen. That it's, it, it's so profound. Like, you, so you're saying if you're a woman and you wear that stuff, what do you think in your head? That you're going to be the only one in the gym doing anything? That's right. That no guy is going to come up to you and ask like, oh, you want me to show you how to really lift it? Just you, like that. You want me to show you? Well, who's talking like that? I think that's, is that Tom, what... I think that's Tom from Juji. I oh, think that's how Tom talks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that, it's it's so, it's ridiculous. And there was a girl in, in the gym tonight. She was, she was, uh, she was, she was a younger, she was younger than me. So she had to be 21, 22. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, she probably weighed 90 pounds. She was about this mic stand. That's pretty oh, much what she looked like. And uh, she was wearing yoga pants, but they were pulled up. This is what also I don't understand. They were pulled up, like, halfway up her abdomen. Okay. So, like, like her, huh. it, it made no sense. Okay. And she was wearing just a sports bra. So you could probably see about three inches of skin, but her yoga pants were pulled up so fucking high it literally looked like she like her stomach was like protruding. It was weird. And like she doesn't have an ass. Yeah. So it was pretty much pointless. So let me just say this. I had no eye candy, to say the least. I had legs tonight anyway. So I yeah, was hating oh dude, I was fucking hating life. Yeah, it well. was ridiculous. I was doing these tempo uh sumo you have to box. Try to stay symmetrical. Oh dude, I was doing tempo uh tempo dead mm. sumos. What was your tempo? Um it was three up, two down. Interesting. And it was 225. I was just keeping it light. My ass was on fire. Uh, yeah. And it was just fucking ridiculous. And Damn. that was, and it, my ass wasn't even fire from the deadlift. I know. It was from something else. You know. Mexican food, what are you going to do? Who, where, where'd you get it from? Oh, El Diablo. Who, what? Ooh, Hatia. The uh, taquitos. Yeah, from you the know, gas station. I, after you said that, mm-hmm. I have more respect for a bigger person in general. Yeah. Man or woman? Man or, or we talking about females? man or woman? Okay, sweating their ass off in the gym. Yeah, not looking to put on a show. Correct, because they're there to actually they're oh. there with a purpose, not for looks. Oh yeah, because I mean, I respect that way much. More. Oh yeah, and another and to kind of go off of that, you know, these self these self imposed power lifters that are in the gyms that we go to. Yeah. The guys, you know, even the women, they, I can't stand them. Everyone in this county thinks that they're a power lifter if they squat, bench, and deadlift. Yeah. And they, you know, they'll do a lift and then they'll wait 15 minutes. Well, that's what the professionals do. Ah, of course. Because if you wait as long as they do, then you're going to automatically lift as much as they do. Listen, you need your honey in between sets. <laughs> you need your honey. All right. You need you need that honey. Yeah. And your yeah. Nutella. Mm-hmm. See? Yes, that's right. So. Uh, secrets out. Yeah, secrets out, bitches. But yeah, it's... It, it just... It really... I walk... I like walk past them and I just like give them the worst look. Like I don't, I give them no respect, and I'm in the gym. I mean, you've seen me. I literally wear long sleeves, hoodies, pants. I mean, I do not look for the attention at all. I'm sweating bullets. Literally, I walk in. If you're not sweating at the gym, you're not working. Correct? 
What if you have a problem sweating, though? What if it's a medical condition? Then go dip your water in the uh, fucking... Um, dip your water? No, dip your head in the water cooler. In the water the cooler. The cooler. The cooler. cooler. <laughs> go fucking dip your head in the water cooler and get drenched or something. Go do cardio for 45 minutes. Put that intensity up. You'll, you'll sweat. Now that I said that, if you have a medical, uh, medical condition where you can't sweat, you probably shouldn't be working out like that. You should, you should just probably not be alive. Yeah, how does that work? What are you gonna pant like a dog? I need a. What do they? We need to get. Do a you doctor. not have sweat glands? Do you know a doctor? Do I know a doctor? I know. Yeah. A do- I, oh yeah, I know a doctor. No, oh, not, you, you need a prescription. No, not. Oh, a, I got you. A doctor. Not a love doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a street doctor. Oh, you don't. Oh, I only know we street. Might, I only know street doctors. I think we need to bring in a doctor in one what of was these it, episodes. Who was, that, who was that sex therapist? Doctor. What was her name? Doctor Beth or Doctor Cr- Ruth? What yeah, was her name? that you might know, be it. Old lady, like ninety years old, still yeah. giving love advice. Yeah, she's gross. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> I saw. I was reading something yesterday on like Newsweek, and it was one of her ads. Like one of her stories popped up, and these people, you know, complaining about their lives and their sex lives and everything like that. And like fucking, she was Doctor Ruth. What the hell is her name? Uh, Does that sound know. right? I don't know. I don't know. She's old. She's Dr. Old Lady. Dr. Old Lady. Dr. should already be in the casket. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, she was giving love advice, you know, talking about all these women's problems and all the men having issues and everything, and she's spinning out all these uh, fucking tips and, well, you know, like, probably like have, you, have you been late since, you know, since the Roaring Twenties? I don't think well, so. Her facts are from the Roaring Twenties. Ah, uh, yes. That's the thing. Okay. Gotcha. See? So, yeah, what are you going to do? But, yeah, I mean, to... to Quickly summarize about the whole women in the gym and everything like that. If you put the fucking work in and don't look for the attention, that's what I want. But don't complain when guys are coming up to you and you're like, God, I can never get a workout in. Like, don't fucking wear that stuff. Right. Wear baggy pants and a sweatshirt. Exactly. I don't care if you wear a fucking trash bag. Yeah. As long as you'll sweat more. You'll sweat more. (laughs) And like I've seen I've seen girls in the gym who wear full on caked on makeup. Have the hair did. Well, have the hair did. Well, you got to look good. I can, then don't be in the gym. I wear. I go per- to the CrossFit gym. I personally wear lipstick. When I like work. a lip gloss or mm. lipstick. I wear a very nice midnight red. Ooh, uh, I'm snazzy. assuming that's the color. You a classy bro. Um, oh, you classy. Oh, I'm huh? looking good when I'm lifting. Okay, just yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Maybe a little blush, uh, mascara. Oh, nothing, nothing, fan- nothing crazy though. Well, no, no. Just the exuberant. The uh, the features accentuate my features. Accentuate the features. Accentuate the yes. features. Okay, Regina George. Yes, <laughs> but overall, go <laughs> get hit by a fucking bus. Exactly. You pushed her, didn't you, Katie? She, yeah. you know, she's from Africa, South Africa. No, she wasn't from South Africa. She's from Africa. I remember, they're like, no, I don't think. Yeah, no, she's, like, she's from, from Africa, from, but not South Africa. She's like, I'm from Africa. Then the one bitch is like, <laughs> but you're white. Are you talking about the two gay to function? Uh, or was that uh <laughs> no no that, that was the, the <laughs> no. <laughs> amanda seafried's character. okay not for gretchen wieners exactly you go glenn coco you go you know that guy he came out as gay a few years ago he did you mean he didn't come out during the movie no okay no i thought that was already i thought that was already it was out a big there. secret apparently oh big secret in a big closet a gay guy pretending to be a gay guy in the closet interesting it's so deep. It's so deep that you wouldn't even think about it. Exactly. That's what steered you You're away like, from really thinking, knowing the truth. Right. You're like, he's playing a gay guy way too well to be gay. Mm-hmm. But he's gay. But he's gay. But he's a funny gay guy, <laughs> and I respect that. But anyway, so overall, so, so, yeah, go ahead. These Put diets your... that we're talking about, try them for a few weeks, see if you like them. Yeah. You want something that'll sustain you beyond the six to eight week mark to where you'll see most of your... um weight losses mm-hmm. yeah, or weight gains sure. if you're building muscle yeah and if you guys have any other que- if you guys ever have any questions hit up us on youtube put some comments in there we'll be more than happy to answer some subscribe subscribe in bro we trust and if you haven't seen the strongman competition look it up now yes because Res- arnold but remember arnold is coming up next week yep in columbus and we will be doing another episode. I'd like to do it after the Arnold so we can talk about it. Yeah, so... So probably coming on after the Arnold. We had to deny our invite. Arnold's like, listen, we really had a booth. guys there. He had a He's booth like, for us. It, all expense paid. You know, you guys can come out. You can even, you know, sit where the judges sit for the strongman. I'm like, Arnold, we appreciate it, dude, but we're we're just too busy. Yeah. We got the podcast. I mean, we got our normal lives. Um, I mean, we got the rave tomorrow night, right? Yeah. We got the we because you got to get the jungle juice. Yeah. Um, and then I'm getting hyped for the rest of the weekend. So <laughs> shit, I don't got I don't got no time. As the kids say, hyped. It, <laughs> hyped. I'm getting hyped. Uh, what were you gonna say? What do you do? I something. What, what about, do you get? 
Something about being lit. I don't know. Being lit? Kids say it. Ah, oh, those kids. You oh, know? Those damn kids. You know, I... You kids and your I... snapback hats. <laughs> You know, I remember when snapbacks used to be like the poor people thing. Yeah, and, and now then it, it, it was all like fitted. And it yeah. was like, no, 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 we need flex. For, I remember when I was in middle. Oh, I remember when I was in middle school. Fitted was it seven and three eighths, man? That's what my head was. New era, seven and three eighths. You, you remember the uh, the knockoffs you could get at like the farmers market yeah. or uh, yeah. flea market? Uh-huh. It had the very crudely stitched New Era logo. Yep. Mm-hmm. But hey. I remember the old jacket. Who can jack- afford a thirty dollar hat every other week? Remember the old starter jackets? Oh yeah, well, starter and used to be a starter. Rep- you did, and now like fucking, it's retro now. Everyone wants it. Well, it's a they're selling it at like Pack Sun and yeah. Zoomies. The same with like Thrasher Skate Magazine. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing like random middle school kids. Yeah, even like they don't know. I don't want to. They don't know. I don't want to say the word I'm thinking of. Say but it. Say it. I think. Say it. I can't. Say it. A certain type of person wearing this okay. is, let's say, Can maybe, I guess it? Let's just say they have a very good tan. Okay. They're wearing Thrasher That's cool. and Chucks and That's Vans. Cool. Yeah, man. Uh, but they still act like, you know. Okay. They're, uh... Shub chatters. Read between the lines, yeah. people. Read between the lines. But that's besides the point. Okay. I'm saying. Yeah. Just like these diets, mm-hmm. these... Fashion trends yeah. are trends, and they'll die out soon. They come enough. and go, guys. Everything, everything's in a repeat. Everything comes in a circle. Everything comes back around. I mean, fucking the '80s came back. I mean, the '90s. I mean, you know, I'm sure soon. I'm sure soon we'll be back to the uh, um, the fucking, '30s. The '30s Skechers shoes. You know, Skechers still around. And who wears Skechers anymore? I personally do. You listen. Skechers makes these. I think they're called pump ups. Oh, my glutes get a blasting. Do they? Do they you. stay? They stay hot fire. Oh my! God. You spit hot fire. I do. Oh yeah. You know what else spits hot fire? Ooh. My ass. Oh shit! Because of the Skecher <laughs> pumps. Anyway, all right, guys. That's it. Do you have anything else to say? Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, workouts been going good. Um, last week I had the, last week I had the Bumble story. This week I actually have a Tinder story. Okay. If you'd like me to talk about it for a minute. Sure. Um. So it was Wednesday night. How I remember it is because I had arms at night. So I was having a sweet session. Um, did some cardio, did some light cardio, didn't do core, but I was still looking good. All I had was a major protein diet um, that day. So it was uh, the pump wasn't as good, but um, I was definitely feeling it. I was a little bit low on the uh, water, so I was a little bit dehydrated. So I was definitely vascular. Um, but yeah, so pretty much I was swiping on uh, fucking Tinder. And I put the miles to like 25 miles. And really, 25 miles around here ain't going to get you far. That's like from here to like Hughesville, Mechanicsville, maybe right into Waldorf. But that's about it. Um, <laughs> you're pretty much going to get those hillbillies down from Ridge. And you're going to get the gangsters up in Waldorf. And I'm sorry, but everyone and their mother always on their fucking Tinder profile says, uh, add me on Insta, do this, blah, 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 just want a sugar daddy, add me on Snap. Fucking bitch, I know you, Faye. You just trying to get, you just trying me to get subscribed, trying to hook you up, trying to hype you up. Bitch, get out of here. I am not your promoter. All right, I'm on this site for one reason, and it is not to get you more likes and to get you out there. Uh-uh. So I'm on there and everything, swipe from left, swipe from right, swipe left on the girl. She's pretty cute. She's like 10, 15 miles away. Um, so I swipe right and, you know, fucking, it didn't say, it didn't have that magical page that said it's a match. Um, so I'm like thinking to myself like, oh shit. All right. Well, she just passed me Uh, whatever jokes on you, girl. I could have been your future ex-husband. But, uh, so about five, 10 minutes goes by and actually, um, I get the notification and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, okay. Keep easy, 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 easy. All right. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We'll see what happens. Fucking go to the notification and boom, the girl liked me. I'm thinking, woo, big T getting it in. So I messaged her first. I'm like, hey, girl, what's going on? You know, how you doing tonight? I was pretty douche about it. I wasn't. Usually I open up with like a really corny bit dad joke. Uh, break the ice with some sort of fact that means absolutely nothing. Like pandas live an average life to 25 to 26 years. Something stupid like that. But this this night I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Don't know this girl. Let's see how the bro comes out on me. Fucking, hey, you know, hey, how you doing? How you doing, girl? Like, I'm going to try to see you. Like, how you doing? Like, what you doing tonight? You trying to do me? 
Um, she doesn't message me back that, which wasn't too much of a surprise. Um, so I give it like 30 minutes. I message her back. I'm like, Hey, sorry. That was my brother. You know, I'm trying to catch myself. Uh, I'm like, Hey, my brother messaged you. I'm sorry about that. You know, I just want to apologize. That's not who I am. You know, I'm really on here trying to find a relationship. Um, and still nothing. <laughs> so, and, uh, like another hour goes by and it's like 10 30 and I'm laying in bed. I'm like, God damn it. I know this girl's on here. Cause she fit if she fucking literally just swiped right on me, like not only like an hour and a half ago. And it's a Wednesday night. I know you up Thursday, Thursday's coming. Freaky Friday's coming. I know your ass is up getting ready for it. So I message her back and literally all I say is, uh, F you. That's it. The F and the U letters. Um, and then uh, literally the, uh, the, the t- <laughs> she fucking messaged me back. And all she says is, hey, like, all right, first off, I just try to pick on, pick up, pick you up. Then I just try to save myself. And then I just reamed you out. And all I get back is, hey. So obviously I'm thinking to myself, I was like, either you're fake, either you're not paying attention or either you're brain dead. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, my opportunity is arisen. All right. So I message her back. I'm like, uh, you know, Joe, just relaxing, laying in bed. You know, what are you doing tonight? She messaged me back. She says, Hey, with two Y's. So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is going on here? This is fake. This is a bot fucking. All right. You know what? I'm going to have some fun with this. Bots can be fun. Oh, bots can be fun. So literally after that, I wait about five minutes and then I message her. I'm like, meet me at this address. I fucking give her. A, I think I gave her like the address to McDonald's. Meet me, meet me at this address and call me at this number. I gave her a fake ass number. She fucking, uh, literally she, um, goes to me, she goes to the location, calls the number and they gave it to my friend. It was my friend's number fucking calls his number. He texts me and says, why is this crazy? Why is this weird person calling me? And I'm like, shit, she's really there. She's a real person. Like total mind blown. I'm like, dude, fucking block that call go to private and don't respond. I fucking messenger and I fucking what I said, some shit like uh gotcha bitch, you know, should have read my, should have read my message. I was trying to be a nice guy and fucking blew me off. Dude, bitches like, and they haven't spoken. To Unbelievable. Her since. I don't, I fucking, I hate him, dude. I can't, I'm sorry. My love, my love life is shit. Well, you need to look uh, outside. Dude, I am. Area. How far out you want me to look? Texas. Texas? It's only like I got a these. I got these on Midgard in a place called Texas. See, Carl Irvin can do it. Can do it. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. Maybe one of these days I'll find myself a little sweetheart. We'll so see. Your love's out there. You love your life. I hope so. There. Not everyone can be as lucky as you, V Daddy. I know. Not everyone I can know. be as lucky as you. Well, lady, luck is on my side. <laughs> anyway, all right. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much. All, that's I think that's, all, that's pretty much all we got for week two. Yep, strongman, Tinder, and diets. Yeah, I uh-huh. mean, can't go wrong with it. Next week we got Arnold, um, and then we're actually going to talk about V Daddy's first relationship. That's Ooh. it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a little uh, interesting. I was seven. Hopefully his his now wife is will not be tuning in to watch to listen to that one. Well, so we shall see. I was a young lad, <laughs> a young lad in a uh, foreign land. Inexperienced, inexperienced for sure. I was an experienced <laughs> lad. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll, go, right. we'll, we'll take a dive into V Daddy's love life. All right, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next episode. And bro, we trust. Keep it up.